Good morning. Uh, today's Wednesday the 9th of February 2022 and overnight a new software update has become available. So I've just got to work here connected to the Wi-Fi and uh, I'm going to download it. So in this video I'm just going to look to see what this new update brings in an older Tesla Model S, in this case a 2014 Model S 85. So I have my software level set to advanced and the updates are sort of coming thick and fast. They're coming about every week at the moment from Tesla. But um, I'm not surprised because this version 11 software which brought the apps was a bit of a mess, particularly on these older cars. And that seemed to affect the older cars that originally had the MCU1 computer, which have since been upgraded to the MCU2 and quite a few things they didn't get right with that version 11 so we're going to see what this one brings and um, see if it's fixed anything so it's installed the update it did take a long time so it was obviously a full operating system update uh, as they all are but this one did seem to take rather a long time um, so I've had a look at the notes and uh, this was the notes online and I don't think any of it is going to be um, it's going to affect this car uh, all the changes were for the newer cars, the Model 3s, Model Ys, and the much newer Model S and Xs. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to see any difference at all on these older Model Ss. The major change that this version brings is it allows you to change the colour of your car on the screen and in the app. Um, but, as you can see, mine's green anyway. So um, it was. Re I think this update was brought in really for the Chinese market because they like to wrap their cars, and it allowed you to change the colour of uh, the car on the screens. But these, um, the Model S doesn't get that function. It's only for the newer cars, which I saw online. I think was for 2021 onwards on the Model Ss, but Model 3s get that function. Um, it said that there was some changes to the icons at the top here. Uh, I don't think any of it's going to affect the Model S either. Um, there's no changes to these icons. Uh, let's just have a look at the notes here, software. So the version it's put on is 2022.4.5. And if we go to the release notes, Let that load. Um, so all we've got is minor bug fixes and improvements. So um, I don't think I'm going to see any difference at all with this update. Uh, let's just look at that charging screen. That hasn't improved either. This is still terrible. It's far too small. Um, so yeah, that's it. Non-event again this video. Obviously this update brought far more uh, important changes to Model 3s, but on these older Model S's, in this case this is a seven and a half year old Model S, absolutely no difference at all. But of course there is these minor updates and bug fixes, so there will be possibly some improvement in the background, but nothing noticeable as far as the driver's concerned. Oh, hello. I have noticed something. We've got a charging icon back here. And there we go. We've got a little shortcut back there which shows you where all the chargers are. So we can select here. This, this bit hasn't changed. So we can select superchargers. We can select um, third party chargers, 50 kilowatt chargers there. And we can select destination chargers. Um, so yeah, that's changed because that was removed with version 11. A lot of people didn't like it. You had to go up here and select it up there. And they brought that back there, which is great. That's something that was needed. So up here we've got um, satellite view, traffic layer, points of interest and chargers. So yeah, that's one thing that is obviously better. Um, okay. That's it for this video. As always, click the thumbs up if you've liked it. Not much um, content on this video, to be honest. But uh, some people find these videos interesting, documenting the changes with the Tesla um, over-the-air updates. But anyway, plenty of other videos on the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.